Is Toronto's Chinatown neighborhood at risk of losing its identity? Some community members feel that could happen. As Kelda Ewan explains, their worried gentrification is driving out longtime businesses and residents. On the corner of Spadina and St. Andrew, this trendy building has replaced what used to be the Chinese restaurant Bright Pearl. It was this iconic building in Chinatown. It was yellow tiled and it had a green roof. But the loss of aesthetic is not what Amy Lamb is most concerned about. The new space has sat empty since October. And just a few steps down, what used to be a popular Chinese grocery store is now this. I think what we see across Chinatowns all over North America is displacement of affordable space which are historically places where communities of color gather. The Chinatown BIA says rent has gone up about 40 percent in the last three years. This past weekend, a group of artists and activists took part in a procession down Spadina to draw attention to the issue. The walk ended here at Chinatown Center, where the group began planting a garden. To um, create more bonds with the other people in the community and also fight gentrification in the small actions of taking care of a space. Florence Yi helps to run T-Base, a community arts space inside the center. For her, the gentrification of Chinatown also means the loss of community. This is basically one of the only places I can casually practice my language, Cantonese, um, and one of those places that um, is really relevant to a lot of different parts of my culture. Arlene Chan is the author of numerous books on the Chinese community in Canada. But while she says gentrification is happening, she is also optimistic. A lot of a new generation of, you know, business owners who are from Taiwan, from China, from Hong Kong. So they're opening up, you know, the bubble tea stores, dessert places. We have... Meanwhile, those at T-Base hope young Chinese Canadians will be able to use the space to reclaim their identities in an ever-changing Chinatown. A spot to learn more about history uh, and to learn about the surrounding area and its people and our commitment to this kind of space. A petition has been launched by the Coalition of Activists across North America. It is demanding cities come up with policies to stop the displacement of affordable spaces in Chinatowns. It has almost 50,000 signatures so far. Kelda Yoon, CBC News, Toronto.